The footings were in the ground and set, and a lumber pile that we'd been staring at for quite some time was starting to move into position. Today it was time to get these posts moved and to build some walls. Dark skies on the horizon were once again threatening to shorten the workday for Paul and the crew. With an 80 foot long building, the walls were being built on the ground in sections. And while the crew worked diligently on that, Paul's wife Emily stopped by to go over some final changes in our blueprints and house plans. Okay, so he knows about that one. He doesn't okay. know about the walk in door, he just knows we're doing one. I think it's been interesting building a custom home because although it's amazing having all of the different choices, sometimes that means it's actually hard to narrow things down and to make a decision. But the reality is you come up against deadlines and you just have to make them. Cash and Jake were also pre-drilling and putting nails in the purlins for the roof, so things will go quickly once trusses go into place later on. So day two today of working on walls. That's gonna be pretty exciting to finally see a structure up here. I think Kelsey and I were talking about, it's just been about a year now since we've been out here at the property, but we drive by this spot every single time knowing what's going to be coming in the future. But once that structure is actually there, it's gonna be quite a change to drive up the lane every time and see that. So we're excited to check that out today and hopefully that'll happen here soon. You gotta think about where this bracket actually is gonna sit. Because if you were to center this column, or this pier for the column, this bracket might end up off the side. So I always, when I'm laying it out, I always cheat it to the inside, like, well, I guess it'd be the outside of the garage door. I cheat it half the post at least. That way I know I'm gonna have plenty of room for that bracket to go in. All right. Does that make sense? One of the things I've admired the most being out there and watching this whole process is seeing Paul teaching and going over things with his crew and making sure that he takes the time to explain the process so everyone gains valuable knowledge. Anytime we put anything up with writing on it, you get docked an hour of pay if you put it on upside down because it won't work the same. All right, just kidding. It's just like a pet peeve of mine to put them on upside down. Jake always makes fun of me. These all individual windows? Yes. And just that one is one big one. Correct. I thought we had these mold together. Do you you ordered you guys have handled ordering the windows or did we? I think Emily did. Okay, so I'll have her get me the list. Gosh, I'm oh Well I just got here for the morning and look at this. So we got one wall up now and Paul said that it would be, you know, once you had a wall up you'd actually be able to get at least a sense of the size. Once we have all four walls and there's a box here, it's going to be really crazy to see the actual size of it. The other part is that 
we don't have trusses on here yet obviously and those are going to go up another like 11 feet or so so this thing is going to be really tall It does. The final post for this wall was put into place and the posts attached to the brackets in the concrete. Wanted to show you we have two walls now. They're moving along very well. Building some of the end walls right now so that those can go up and then it's gonna be time to put the trusses on already. One of the things that I thought might be fun would be to just move around the property a little and see what you can see as far as the building now that both walls are up. So I'm standing right now just over the culvert. You'll see the culvert right here and you can see the building up through those trees. So I think when the roof is on, it's really going to be a much different view from here. But we're gonna go around to a few different spots and I'll show you what you can see of the building from different areas now. So up on the top of the hill now where we were originally looking to put the house but decided against it because of how far back into the property it was and the cost of everything kind of at this point. So you really can't see it through here. There's just a tiny little spot. I'll get out my camera with the zoom lens. You can see just a tiny little spot of it. So maybe when the roof is on you might be able to just see the top of the roof. but. From up here right now with all the trees in, you really can't see it. I think when you get to fall, obviously, and all those trees drop their leaves, you'll definitely be able to see it from up here, but right now, that's what it looks like. So now I'm at the crest of the driveway. So there's that sort of hill as you come up the driveway, and then you get to the crest where you can see up onto the field, and now up onto the building. So this is what it looks like right now. So now I'm around the corner on the gravel road here, and I wanna show you what it looks like from way over here. After all my gallivanting, I got back in time to watch the front wall being put into place. With the constant threat of wind and storms in our area, Paul decided to put a footing outside of the building on each side so that he can tie it down and secure it. just let that window down somehow. He hit that window pretty hard. I went up in the lift with the guys to see the future view of the tree line out my studio windows. With the peak of this building at over 30 feet, it was time to bring the right tool for the job. Yeah, that thing worked awesome. Yeah, so the next one's another entrust, so we'll mark it all out and then we'll just take it down there and set it. And then we'll just go around, come in. Got it. Once we get two more up, then we can run purlin. Jake and Cash nailed in the entrust while we noticed a site you definitely don't see every day. What do you think? Man, does that look different today? A little different. 
<laughs> wow. Kelsey's parents also stopped by for a quick visit to see how things were progressing. The heat of the summer was on, but things were definitely starting to take shape. Creating something with your bare hands, it doesn't get much better than that. (laughs) 